So Manchester United have, have called time on Cristiano Ronaldo's second spell at the club. The club and Ronaldo have come to a mutual cancellation of his contract, which means that once the World Cup is finished, he won't be going back to Old Trafford to be a free agent to join whoever he wishes to join. Not even in January, he could join in December as a free agent. So Ronaldo out of the club, it is the best decision. Obviously, both parties have come to a situation now where they couldn't go back together. Ronaldo had spoken out against the club on the Piers Morgan interview, and that was the, the final straw, really, because it wasn't the first time he's... He's kind of transgressed his the club's regulations this season. Obviously, he refused to go on as a substitute against Tottenham, which made Eric Ten Hag come out in public and say that was the case, which was unusual for a coach to say such a, an explosive thing about a, a high-profile player. And in the summer, he he refused to uh, return to training on time, uh, exciting family reasons, missed the pre-season sort, and then left early during the pre-season friendly against Real Balacano. So ever since the end of last season, Ronaldo's been un unhappy, wanted to leave United, and it's come to a situation now where the club have let him go. And now I've been told it's a mutual cancellation, no more obligations ongoing, which means that whatever's happened now is a clean break. There's no payments over the next six months. Any financial assessment between the two, the two parties has been dealt with. So clean break, Ronaldo moves on. We'll see where he goes to after the World Cup. And United need to move on too. It's not just a case of Ronaldo moving on. United do need another striker. You know, Ronaldo has only scored three goals this season, but he was a top scorer last season. And then Marcus Rashford, Anthony Martial, Jaden Sancho, Anthony Alanga, they don't quite have a player they can rely upon to score 20, 25 goals a season. They're not going to get somebody like that in January, but they do need somebody going forward to, to plug the gap. Maybe somebody who can get 10 goals between now and the end of the season because United are in a, in a tough fight for a top four spot. But ultimately, the big story is Ronaldo leaving. It's, you know, United's issues that can be dealt with another day. Ronaldo leaving United as a, it was a club legend, you know, it, it was a player that the fans were desperate to see back every year since he left in 2009 to Real Madrid but he went back last season the club had a terrible season he played well but I think I think the love affair now is over I think what United fans have to remember is that when he left in 2009 he spent two years prior to that trying to leave then so it has been a good relationship between the two clubs in the sense that it's very transactional Ronaldo did for United what they expected him to do in the first spell he came back didn't really work out the second time but there is no Loyalty and emotion in football with, with players, it's a business. And Ronaldo has decided that United aren't for him anymore. He wants to move on and that's where we've got to. So it's a sad end to a, a great career at United. But there'll be another chapter in Ronaldo somewhere. He'll have his last dance somewhere else. And we'll wait to find out where that'll be. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.